Are you a Glowforge owner that's a little bummed that you can't engrave the ever so popular tumblers in your Glowforge? Well, I have a little workaround for you today, and I'm going to show you how with the right product, you can actually engrave tumblers in your Glowforge. And if you don't have a Glowforge yet and you're considering purchasing one, I will leave my referral link down in the description box below where you can save up to $500 on your new Glowforge. I'm Stephanie, and I've been running an online handmade business, ILYB Designs, since 2014. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a little bit of crafter's ADD. So if you take a look at my website, you'll see I make a variety of different types of custom items. So I created this channel so I can share with you my crafty tips and tricks and provide you with inspiration for projects you can complete at home. So come craft with me. And as always, consider subscribing to my channel and like and comment on a video when you see something you like. Now, let's get on with today's video. I was so excited to discover these Polar Camel brand tumblers with silicone sleeves from a company called JDS Industries. Now, this video is not sponsored in any way. I just truly am in love with the wide variety of wholesale, laserable items they offer. You do have to have a business in order to get an account with them and place an order, but if you don't have a business and are interested in some of these tumblers after you see how beautiful they turn out, just let me know in the comments below. If there's enough interest, I may start to offer them as blanks for those of you not running a business with your Glowforge. So they come in seven different colors and the design either engraves to white or black depending on what color silicone sleeve you choose. You're basically lasering off the top layer of silicone and revealing the color silicone that's underneath. So that cannot be changed. Since you can't fit a tumbler in the Glowforge, you have to remove the silicone sleeve and lay it flat on the crumb tray. Now to lay it flat, you need to make a jig to slip the silicone sleeve over. Another awesome thing about JDS Industries is they provide you with a template for every product so you can get the design to the exact, to the exact dimensions of the product. Pretty awesome and what a time saver. So I used the template to make a jig so the sleeve could lay flat and get a nice engrave. I was using eighth inch birch, which wasn't thick enough, so I actually cut two out and I layer them together and it works perfectly. And a quick tip, I decided to start engraving on my different jigs so I can remember what they're for. And now that I know the perfect engrave settings for the silicone sleeves, I need to go back and engrave the settings on the jig too. Just helps keep me organized. You're gonna slip the silicone sleeve onto the jig and you wanna be sure you get the bottom edge lined up as straight as you can so your design engraves straight. Now, I design in Silhouette Studio and I also create a conical curve on the designs I put on these tumblers based on the dimensions of the whole tumbler so that when it engraves, it allows for the curve of the tumbler and the design wraps around straight. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Without that, your design will curve up a little on each side because the tumbler is wider at the top than the bottom. If you're interested in learning more about that, just comment below and maybe I can try to make a future video about that. Okay, now I wanna make sure I secure it on the crumb tray straight. So I've been using these little scraps I have from another jig I made and since they have a straight edge, I line them up with the door of the Glowforge because I know that's straight and then I can place my jig against a straight edge. Works like a charm, and I do this every time I'm trying to make sure I get something placed straight for an engrave. I use these little pins to secure it to the crumb tray, and then I'm ready to send my design to Glowforge and start engraving. I have a Glowforge Pro, and I set it to speed 600, power 55, and 340 LPI. Now, don't worry, it's gonna look ugly at first. You're seeing all the little bits of silicone that have been burned off. Remove the sleeve from the jig and use LA Awesome, which you can get at Dollar Tree, and a toothbrush to scrub the, to scrub the sleeve clean. Mm -hmm. 
Then all that's left to do is put the sleeve back on the tumbler and you're all set. These look amazing in person. I just can't capture the precision detail on video or in photos. I love these. I'm so happy I found a style tumbler I can engrave with Glowforge. So tell me in the comments below, what do you think of these tumblers? If you liked this tutorial, please click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to get crafty with me again. So until next time, I'll see you later.